Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the channel and welcome to yet another conference. All honor, glory, and praise be to our one and only Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, I wanted to um, come on to talk to you guys uh, just shortly about why your enemies have to receive karma. Um, I had actually done a long conference um, regarding... Um, I won't, I won't give the title because I'm going to have to redo it. But um, I have to redo the conference over due to um, a situation <laughs> with um, the information. So um, um, actually, this is not the initial uh, conference that I had intended to put out today. But um, when, I have, when I have more time, I'll come back and most likely redo the, the initial one. But your enemies have to receive karma because um, they're wicked and they're evil and they came up against you. And uh, whether if you're chosen or not, uh, they're going to receive karma because, you know, they had no business in your faith. And, um, you know, a lot of you, you know, you've gone through a lot of things out there. Maybe your marriages and your relationships didn't work out and you've had people uh, taunting you all about, uh, they feel that their marriage and their relationship worked out. And, you know, I know that even in my battles, um, I had um, some people coming to a workplace I used to work at. And uh, I don't know who these people were, but it was a male, a female, and I assume their son. And the female was putting on an act um, like she was doing something nurturing for her, the male she was with or whatever he was. I don't know these people. But I knew that they were putting on a performance for me, and their son was standing there looking at me, gawking. And, of course, my initial, you know, I'm just, like, doing my job or whatever, and I'm thinking, you know, who are these folks in my face? I don't even know who they were. Uh, all I know is that they were all busters, and I know that I'm not the one for the foolery. And, um, you know, if they hear this video, yeah, um, whoever you are, I don't know who any of you were, but you better never come stand up in my face again acting a fool. And, um, yeah, I was, like, working at a, at a anonymous place, and, um, there was, there was this couple that came in, and they, I, I assume the young boy that was with them was their son, because, you know, he was standing there looking at me like he didn't have any sense, and, um, uh, I got an energy off of the older male that I didn't like, and I just felt like it was, like, subliminal messaging that they were trying to send to me, but whoever those people were i mean if you hear the sound of my voice like i said you better never come stand your ugly raggedy tails up in my face again and uh that goes for you know any of my uh enemies and adversaries out there and you know of course they're all going to receive karma and no i'm not sitting around wondering you oh well, when are they going to they've already gotten it the minute that they came in my face and tried to disrespect me they got it but my thing is i don't know if i think that uh, i think the whole intent was to try to flounce in my face as if they had some type of relationship or some type of family unit or something well ho whoever you are i'm sure he screwed quite a few women behind your back since you've been with them and um okay so go grin some go your whoever that was your child or whatever to go grin somewhere else because all of you are monkeys and make fools out of yourselves and i don't even know who those people were it was, it was long ago but i'm just sending that out there because see um you know, I just feel like that you can take things that are thrown towards you and use them to your benefit. And that's what I'm doing. And nobody's going to stop me. Nobody's going to shut my mouth. So there were quite a few enemies that um, came in various workplaces that I was in. One came in. And um, I don't know if the whore had gotten her hair done or what. I don't know. But she came in bouncing. <laughs> yeah, but she walked, she walked past me bouncing. She walked in and then she walked out. So evidently the tramp was obviously still uh, obsessed with me and worried about where I work at and um, at the time. So she came in bouncing, I guess because she wanted me to see her hair. Uh, I'm thinking, horror, you didn't even interest me in high school. So don't you ever bring your nasty, raggedy, baby-killing tail in no workplace that I'm at anymore thinking I'm interested in you because I'm not. And that actually goes for um, really all that trash that attended the high school that I attended. I'm not interested in any of you. You were all beneath me then, you're all beneath me now. I've never seen any of you as anything, and I never will, okay? So it is what it is, and it's straight like that. I don't have low self-esteem. I wasn't raised to have low self-esteem, nor was I raised to feel like anybody was better than me because nobody is. So that's another tactic that they tried that is not going to work. 
And uh, this trash knows how they were treated in high school by me. I turned my nose up at them and I kept it moving, just like I'm doing right now. And so I hope that something that I said has helped somebody out there. And um, also uh, by the trash that actually came out of the clique of my enemy that um, had actually asked me out on a date years ago. Well, that's the filth that they were conspiring with. As for that piece of trash, uh, nobody cares about if you have money or not, and nobody cares where you live, okay? So, you know, a lot of times people like that can see people that they've um, disrespected. It, they're the type of people that they'll do disrespectful things, and then when they feel like a little time has gone by, they feel like they can come grin in your face and say, hey, and carry on a conversation as if nothing happened. It don't work like that with me. I don't know how other chicks roll, but it don't work like that with me. You disrespect me, you're going to know you disrespected me. You don't come grin up in my face after you have disrespected me and you don't even know me like that or know me at all. And then when you see me, you like, hey, such and such. It, no, it, there will be no hey, such and such. So anyway, that's just for that individual because see, a lot of times people will do stuff because they want other people to feel like that they're doing well or that they're well off. So you all need to be mindful of things like that. When your enemies come up in your face or come up in the faces of people that they feel are affiliated with you and they come up trying to flash money or tell people where they live or whatever because they want that person to feel like they're doing good because they've always been secretly competitive with the person, either the one that they're talking to, that they want to relay the message, or the one that they want the message relayed to. And what I'm saying is I don't give two earths about none of my enemies. I don't care if you got money or if you don't have money. I don't care where you live, what you live in. I don't care if you married or not married. I don't care if you're in a good relationship or a bad relationship. I don't care if your relationship worked out or if it didn't work out. You still trash. You trash. Who you with is trash. And your children are trash too. Okay? And your whole bloodline. Okay? So don't be coming around nobody that you feel like is affiliated with me trying to... Um, subliminally send a message to me because I don't give two mm about none of you, okay? Not a frick nor a frack, okay? So anyway, you guys. <laughs> anyway, I just had to send that out there. I, I, I wouldn't be able to rest today if I didn't send some word out there and hopefully it's helping you guys kind of get a little um, perspective on a what you all may be dealing with out there. I'm not dealing with anything, you know. Everything is good back my way because uh, any piece of trash that needed to be eliminated from my life is gone. You can believe that and they will never come back. And just to send a further note out there, if you see me in the street, you better not speak. <laughs> you better not speak. You better look the other way. If I'm on the sidewalk, you better cross it. Or if you walk by me, you better not say nothing. The nerve. But like I said, brothers and sisters, you know, uh, those individuals, they actually thought I was a punk. And they're going to try to involve other people that don't even know me. You know, um, they uh, try to involve uh, supervisors in my former workplaces. And I know it was one that called itself setting me up. It just knew it was setting me up. I mean, I was sitting there and watch it fumble and, and fibble and fabble around stuff. Because it just knew it was setting me up like, this is going to work, this is going to work. But, no, I think what worked was I saw his behind march out of the building because he had been fired. Ah! Or either resigned. Oh, okay. Because karma coming for you. You can believe that. Believe I, I know it's people out there that want me to shut my mouth, but I'm not. <laughs> because, see, you mess with the wrong one. That's what you don't know. But if you don't know, now you know. But I knew something was up uh, when um people that I crossed paths with back in during the high school era was just popping up in the workplace where I worked at and I'm thinking you know why am I even on your mind <laughs> people you're not thinking about there have been people you know and I'm not saying that everybody had a bad intention no so I'm not talking about you all so for you all that didn't have a bad intention I'm not talking about you I'm talking about my enemies okay that's what I'm talking about yeah the trash is scared of me because if they weren't they'd be out there in the front yard right now trying to pick a fight because they're going to lose that's definitely going to be. But, um, yeah, I, you know, there's some sick, sick garbage out there. And then for this freak that, um, was going around telling people lies and stuff and <clears throat> trying to make people think that I'm a hater. I don't even know what hater really tastes like, okay? 
I don't know what it tastes like and what it